Welcome back to 32 Bar Cut. Today I want to talk about what may seem like failed efforts are actually not failed efforts. We've all heard the phrase, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Well, it's true, especially in the performing arts, because there is going to be a lot of trying and a lot of trying, trying again. My name is Adrian Walker and I am a Broadway performer. I want to share with you what I've learned about the business so far. Welcome to 32 Bar Cut. Every opportunity will not be yours, but that doesn't mean that there isn't something out there for you. And it doesn't mean that you can't learn something from the process of trying. And so recently I've been trying to do more voiceover work and I don't have a voiceover demo. Well, I didn't, I do now. And because of that, I, I needed to get a voiceover demo. So we've been in this situation, this pandemic where you're not really able to go to studios. So I did some research and I found out that you can kind of make your own home studio as long as you control the sound. And so my husband who is very good with creating anything really was like, Hey, look, we're going to make this studio for you. We're going to go buy some wood. We're going to, cut it, sand it, and build the studio. And so here's the studio. And I think he did a pretty great job. Uh, I did help, but I can't really take credit for most of it. Anyway, we built this studio and we already had a mic and I was like, I'm set, I can start. And so I did a bunch of research on how to uh, write your own commercial copy for demos and wrote my copy and I was like, I'm ready to get in there, let's go. And so uh, the first day I go in there, my game is completely wrong and I recorded everything. I had to toss it all because it was wrong. And so that was frustrating. So then the second time I got the game right, I'm ready to go. Went in there, recorded it all. Again, it was all <laughs> not usable for the demo because Come to find out the mic that I was using was really better suited for instruments. So then we got online and we researched mics and we ordered a mic. Now we've got one of the best mics we can use for this voiceover within our budget, you know, and we bought it used, but anyway. So then we got the mic in there and I'm like, okay, third time's a charm. And now at this point I have spent hours, hours in the studio, not to mention the time that we spent building the actual studio. So I'm like, okay, finally, we're gonna do this. And I laid it all down, I edited everything, and I sent it over to the, the guy I hired to do the demo. Here's what I learned. When I thought that I was wasting all of my time, I was actually learning so much. I was learning about my voice, I was learning about the copy that I had chosen, different ways that I could use my voice for that copy, different ways to sell with my voice. I was just experimenting. And even though I wasn't able to use any of those earlier takes, when I did my final session, I breezed through everything because I knew exactly what I needed to do for each take. Here's why you can learn from this experience. When you go in for audition after audition after audition, and it just feels like you're just wasting your time and you're wasting your efforts, you're not. You're learning each and every time you walk into the audition room. And even though it might drive you crazy because you're just waiting for your big shot and you're waiting for your chance, it's okay. Just hold on. <laughs> because with each experience that you have, you are taking home something with you. You're not leaving empty handed, whether it be how to walk into the audition room or making a new contact with whoever's behind the table or making a new contact with whoever's in the room waiting to audition with you or just getting a chance to learn new material quickly. Maybe you got the audition call like in 48 hours and you got to go in there and learn something and do it. Or maybe you had an amazing reader and you were just in awe of their talent. Or maybe you had a terrible reader and you had to learn how to work with someone who's you know, not good at being a reader. You can learn from every experience. And so when you don't get the call back or you don't book the job, you still haven't lost anything. Just food for thought. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And you know, in the comments below, just let me know what you're interested in, or if there's any topic that you'd love to hear more about, I would love to uh, help however I can. All right, I'll see you next week.